a Monday morning. It's not going to be too bad. A high of 89, Alex is forecasting, but man, it is going to be a scorcher. I don't think the scorcher is hyperbolic, would you say? Yeah. It's going to be hot. It could be worse, though. I will say that. This is true. This is true. This time of year, we yeah. could be talking triple digits. Oh, Cir my goodness. Seriously? This early? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Oh, Circle Saturday on your calendar uh, for probably the warmest day we've felt so far this year. Yesterday, we technically hit 96, but the humidity was not as bad as it could have been. We're going to see that humidity slowly build back in this week, and then Saturday is going to arrive, and that's going to be fun or something like that. I think some people call it fun. A live look <laughs> this morning here over downtown. We are finding a warm morning all across central Georgia. A temperature of 77. Look at this though. We are headed to 89 later this afternoon. That 77 is rather warm for this time of day. Let's check out what's going on right now. 76 in Warner Robins, 72 in Cochrane, 70 in Eastman, 76 in Gordon, a pair of sevens in Milledgeville and in Vidalia this morning, 76 out in Taylor and Macon counties as well. So the overnight storms move through rather quick and they are now into Alabama or into South Carolina this morning back into Alabama. We're finding some more storms that are starting to fire up and move in our general direction. The question is, will they make it here? I think you got a 50 50 shot on whether or not that happens. Now today, technically we are in a level one risk from Montezuma through Perry over towards Wrightsville and to the south, a level two further south. However, I really am not concerned about this at all. This was for the overnight stuff. It's moving away. Let's click past it and pretend like it's not there. Temperatures in the low 80s by the noon hour into the upper 80s later on today. The chance of a sprinkle the further south and east you get here in central Georgia. That's going to be around during the daylight hours and then into the night tonight that fades away and we're looking at a dry night across central Georgia. Temperatures a bit cooler tomorrow morning. A northerly breeze sprinkling in a couple of 50s up towards the north. 60s here in central Georgia before we're back close to 90 for tomorrow afternoon on into Wednesday morning here mid 60s to start once again. Notice some more cloud cover. We're going to mix in some more scattered showers on Wednesday afternoon. That's going to be a difference from Tuesday to Wednesday in terms of the moisture available. So Tuesday going to be the driest day. This is the humidity tracker here uh, down in the low 50s for a dew point, but then trending back upward through the rest of the week. Going to feel a little more humid outside than it has the past several days. On into the weekend here, the end of the week and the weekend. Some scattered stuff around for Thursday. There's Friday. Yeah, much of the same. What I'm watching over the weekend is going to be interesting, though, on Saturday and Sunday. See all that moisture down to the south in the Gulf of Mexico. I think there's at least a decent degree of uncertainty as to where that's going to go. Will it be down closer to New Orleans? Will it be over towards the Big Bend? Will it be over northeast Florida? Will it have come ashore? So watching the details on that because I think that's going to be a driver in Sunday's forecast that we really don't have a good idea of right now. But as things stand for the moment for Father's Day weekend, 96 on Saturday with an overnight low of 70, a 20% chance of rain around. And then on Father's Day itself, 92 the afternoon high temperature with a 20% chance of rain at the moment. Again, that subject to change. But next weekend, going to feel warmer than this weekend with all the humidity we're going to have. This weekend made it to 56 Saturday morning, rebounded 40 degrees warmer for Sunday afternoon. Made it to 96 yesterday. It was a warm one, no doubt about it. Out the door today, not coming close to that 96, that's for sure. 89, that afternoon high temperature coming your way right around 6 o'clock. Morning storms giving way to afternoon sprinkles, especially the further south and east you are. We are talking about it earlier. Athens, the place to be tonight. Mid-80s giving way to 70s. The reason to be there, the NCAA baseball tournament, super regional, game three. It's do or die for the Bulldogs and uh, facing NC State and the Wolfpack. First pitch there at 7. 90 for Tuesday, 92 on Wednesday, picking up that 20% chance of rain on Wednesday as the humidity slowly creeps back up, up to the 96 for Saturday, 92 on Sunday. But again, an asterisk on that Father's Day forecast. Nothing to go canceling any plans over, but we're keeping an eye on it.